It's the Royals, a youthful expansion club, hosting the Thorns, the winningest club in NWSL history. Coffee punches it back to Monahan. Hogarth. Monahan off the run. Into the box. She goes down. No call. Bedford. This is Portland last year. There's a shot from outside the box. Saved by Hogan. But how about this from Donna Fodor? We, we spoke with her this week and she said, I want to be better in front of the goal. I want to score more goals for this team and be the connector. Well, whew, she's a couple inches away from that. Play here through 22 minutes. Fleming looking for Smith. Smith settles now. Into the box. Makes a move. Off her right foot. What a strike! Sophia Smith! And the flag goes up. Our referee goes to the monitor because Linehan is offside centrally. Right here, you're going to see Linehan rolling herself offside. But is Tejada on the far side holding Linehan or Smith on? I think that's the question. But this is what you can't do if you're defending Sophia Smith. This is what she wants. She wants this space centrally. She loves cutting into her right foot. So the ball goes in. They can go back to the monitor and look at it because the offside was called after the goal was scored. And the is going to be offside, but... So, it stands. The goal is called back. It was a banger. That does Jeez. not count for Rob Gale and Sophia Smith. Rob Gale knows the, these Canadians very well. Worked in Canada for some time and knows that we're, we haven't even seen Jesse Fleming scratch the surface of what she can do in this league. Great work from Beckford. Gets around. Here she comes, looks up, takes a shot, and it's just off. She's like, okay, Sophia Smith, I see what you're doing over there, dribbling everybody. I'm going to defend and then dribble as well. Great little touch here. Goes straight at Hubley, and then from distance, gets a little bit of bounce on this ball, which I think is why Hogan at the last second has to dive and make sure it doesn't go on frame. Lozingo. 1v1 with Reyes, puts it across, Sour Bun clears. It's great football from Utah. They're really making Portland work defensively. Smith wants to transition. Up the middle. Diaz in the box for Portland, takes a shot, and it's off. Smith is going to take advantage of it. It's a great first touch to get around Burns, and then she drives at the back line, plays a perfect pass into Diaz that she can stretch wide. It doesn't allow Tejada to come to it quickly because she gets her legs all crisscrossed up. This could be a trap game. This is the 14th team in NWSL out of 14 teams. It's going to be 95 degrees. And I doubted that because of the loss that Portland just had, but they look the inferior team. Monahan, and it's tapped out of play because it's Utah over and over again, winning first and second balls. They have set the temple with the way that they go forward quickly. Monahan has been excellent in the channel, going at pain 1v1, creating from a cross, from an opportunity to cut in and get a shot off. Utah is stunning Portland right now, but they have to finish, and Hannah Bedford knew it there. The back of the legs of Bedford slows the attack here for Utah. Sentor, top of the box. Anamano shoots. Hi. Well, finally got to her. Anamano has been waiting for these types of opportunities for two months now. As she's worked back from an injury. And she just gets tucked a little too narrow. And when she reverses here, she creates her own space. But I think the ball to her had to be faster. Short option, Fleming. Lifted. Sentnor. Can she counter here for Utah? Gets past the defender. Okay. Makes a move off the spin. Hey. Zingo. Running with Anamanu. Up ahead. Here she is, alone. Anamanu shoots. Chance.
chance for Utah and they don't convert. But this is what Setnor can do. Little Maradona in the middle of the field to find the space and the outlet, which was Mozingo here. And I love this pass by Mozingo because it leaves Anumato into the space. But how about Shelby Hogan? Offer line early, cutting down the space, makes the save. Mueller. Tejada with a strong header. Smith. Becky. Looking for Sinclair, saved, hot. And there's a final whistle. A good look for Christine Sinclair to end this game for Portland. Created here in the channel, it's Becky to Sinclair. And she needed to go anywhere but right there. And Mandy Hot falls on it, lets the three whistles blow. Well, an outstanding bounce back game for the Utah Royals. They nearly pull off the upset of the Portland Thorns, but it ends in a scoreless draw. Shelby Hogan with a good game in net for Portland.